Hey everyone, welcome back to this episode of Cart Crazy. Today we're going to be installing a double take Phoenix body kit on our 2017 Club Car Precedent. Came in a couple of days ago on the freight truck and I'm excited to get it installed. So come along for the ride, let's get started. So the kit came in via freight truck a couple of days ago and I know it doesn't look like much on the floor here. We've got a box full of parts and some wiring. Um, but I pulled it up on my phone so you can see if it doesn't glare too much. But that's pretty much what it's going to look like. Um, maybe a few differences because I think I got a different style grill. But um, kind of a sleek automotive look and uh, should have some fun with it. But a whole box full of goodies here we should probably take a look at. Well, there you can see it right there. There's the grill. So I did the black with the silver on the outside. There's a couple of options for that. Looks like there's some um, screw hold downs for the rear body kit. This, I believe, is, yep, that's the turn signal assembly. Uh, we're going to be able to cheat a little bit on this cart because it already has working headlights, taillights, turn signals, and brake lights. So hopefully we'll be able to bypass some of that. There's a box full of brackets. There's this book here with pictures on that I think will be real handy. Not sure we're going to get into the words too much, but we'll at least uh, maybe reference that for the pictures a few times. Hopefully, we won't need that too much. Bracketry for the rear seats, uh, which I'll show you here in just a second. I noticed they sent these, um, which I don't know if you have to use those if they're a little bit different. Or I guess we'll find out. Uh, those are for the strut covers. Here's our main wiring harness. Um, that looks like tail light bezels. Here's our headlights. What else? Uh, oh, that would be uh, to go on here to hide the wires, but like I said, this card already has that. That looks like... Ooh, maybe we will need to change harnesses. This looks like it's maybe got some kind of resistor or something in it. So we might be redoing the harness. And that looks like maybe a brake light harness. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of digitals and... Oh, that would be for the brake lights. There's even a horn in there. We already got a horn. What's this one? Headlight and grill hardware. Hmm. Hopefully we'll toss that to the side. Hopefully we won't need that. Uh, left and rear tail light. Okay. And looks like the box is empty. So, what I'll do is I'll start by removing the old body, which is a matter of the roof, the back seat, the struts, and a few screws, and all that will pop off of there. So. We'll get started on that and see if we can make sense of all this. Thought I would bring you in quick and show you. I usually snap a picture of this wiring sequence. Um, it's not a huge deal, but I did hook it up backwards one time and forward was reverse and reverse was forward so that was kind of annoying so just take a quick picture of that if you need more info on how to get all of this body and everything apart um, you can watch one of my previous videos I'm not going to do a lot of detail on this video just because it is a little bit repetitive but it's pretty simple nuts and bolts our body is actually already loose on this one just have to unplug there unplug the tail lights the front body assembly um, you take this front plastic cowl off and I believe there's a couple of bolts uh, underneath the front bumper, but otherwise everything pops off within a couple of screws. It's, it's super, super easy. I've got updates on the Wiring, um, a lot of this wiring harness that's already in the cart is the same. However, this new fancy headlight has a halo option and a headlight option. I probably could 
finagle the wires around and plumb this in but I decided as easy as it is to unclip everything I'm just gonna go ahead and run the new harness it just goes underneath and the floor a couple of uh, wires for the brake switch and then we'll make sure it's done the right way so that's what I'm working on now captain's log thought I'd run it outside and uh, hit it with the hose I didn't pressure wash it this cart was super clean to begin with but I wanted to knock the dust off anytime you're working with 48 volts and electrical it's always good to get as much water in your work area as possible that way you know immediately when you have a short alright we should be ready for the first smoke test that's where we turn the power on to everything and watch for smoke to come out to see if we did anything wrong learned that from my father-in-law so we're gonna turn the battery on I have a Roy Powell lithium battery in here uh, and the green light means it's on we'll switch to the run position this is our main power coming off of the battery that powers everything light related um, looks like we've got lights so this particular unit should have a halo yeah so just the outside or you can have both so far so good no smoke um, I did run the wires into the floor troughs. I have not officially hooked up the brake switch yet. I've just got it wired and sitting there. Lights look like they're working. Let's check, uh, let's check turn signals. That looks good. Uh, no turn signals on the front. Okay. Not sure what's going on there, but we have no turn signals on the front. Um, how about brake lights? So this would simulate the brake switch here. So if I pull this, we should see a brake light. Yes, we do. Okay, so that's working. Um, not sure why we don't have t turn signals on the headlights. So I'll have to do some more digging. Oh. Have to do some more digging on that. Super easy to get the headlights and grill in, um, just nuts and bolts on the back side. That's a lot simpler than some of the kits I've used. I'm trying to keep this prote protective saran wrap on as much as I can just in case I do drop it or something that won't get completely scratched. So now it's just a matter of putting the brow back on. We've got our headlight wiring there so once we set the front end on we can plug our headlights in we should be good to go on that rear body is just about ready to get installed uh, I'll have to unplug that tail light bolt this back down once I get these wires laid in the way I want them and then we can set the rear body on so not too bad Progress has been made. Everything's on there and looking pretty decent. Um, I've got my cowl piece on and I can still see my screws a little bit, so I may have to push the whole front assembly up a little bit. It actually does call for rivets, and I don't have my rivet gun here, so I just pop some screws in there for now. But 
that's looking good. Got lots of wiring to do yet. Um, and this looks bad, but basically it'll just be buttoning it up. I do have to figure out why my turn signals aren't working. But I wanted to get it on there and give you all a good look at it. I do have different seats for it. It's not going to stay the gray seats uh, on order. The back seats came in, which are right here. I can show you what they look like. Uh, kind of a, they're supposed to be a, like a ruby. Not really sure that that's a ruby in black, but um, that's what I've got ordered for it. So I do have a floor mat similar to what I put in Mater. That's in the other room. I didn't get that in yet, but this at least gives you a good look at what we've got and the progress we made today. Thanks for watching, everyone. That's going to do it for this episode. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on Cart Crazy.